welcome back to my channel. My name is Terra Nova, and today I am bringing you episode number 10 of my Spooky Life Let's Play. And, uh, yeah, so I did play, like, a day and a half off camera because I really, really had specific plans for today's episode. And, uh, if you're joining me today, it is Halloween. Um, so, yeah, this is Sylvia, our mother, if you did not remember. And, um, you may or may not recall that she's pregnant. Um, and so it's the middle of the day. She's still in her PJs and she's just playing the piano. And then I got this notification right here. She is going into labor. So I'm going to push play here. She's got, you know, a huge, huge baby belly right here. Let me just get her to stand up so you can see it. Um, she's really uncomfortable and she'll be going into labor for the next three hours. So look at that belly. I just, I cannot comprehend. Um, but anyways, everyone is gone at work and at school, so it's just her right now, and, uh, we gotta pop this baby out because we are having a party today. Um, it is Thursday in SimWorld, and I'm thinking that we will have this baby tonight, and then, uh, I'll just, I'll cut out, everyone will go to school and work tomorrow, and then we're going to, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, how do her clothes even fit over that belly? Um, but anyways, then on Friday night, we will show or throw a huge spooky party and we will, uh, just invite everyone we know. We'll have a fun time. It's going to be great. Um, but people are meeting other people in school and, okay, I will show you the nursery. I did get a little thing put together, um, and you might be able to detect a theme, but uh, here we go. It's just going to be in the corner of Ronald and Sylvia's room. And it's just all like yellows and oranges and pumpkins and ghosts and spider skeleton. You know, you get it. Um, and then I, I found uh, this little guy, um, the Grim Bunny Playable Plushie by Sim Donut. Um, it's actually part of a little mini set of, you know, Grim Bunny stuff. So I will link that in the description below if you're interested. But, I don't know, I like it. It's like almost like a baby monitor in shape. So I thought, hey, for now it'll be a baby monitor. And then when the kid is, you know, a kid, it'll be a toy. But anyways, that's the nursery. So we're just gonna kind of flash forward this until we uh, have a baby on our hands. But um, I do kind of want to name the baby after like a Halloween-y kind of name. So I have a few picked out for boys and girls. And, um... Hopefully, I don't know, maybe I'll continue this LP for a little bit until the next expansion pack comes out in December, which they pushed back the uh, release date to December instead of November now, so it kind of ruins my plans, but um, that's alright, we can make do. Let's see if she can carve up, wait, wait, how many times, how much, you have 35 minutes. Let's just have you go to the hospital. Um, yeah, I want to join her. We'll have Ronald come from work. Totally forgot I could do this. <laughs> oh, well, but yeah. Anyways, um, I think I'll continue on this LP for a little bit just until Get Together comes out. And, um, because my plan was originally to have this go until Halloween and then the next expansion come out in November, which, as I just said, isn't happening anymore. So we're just going to stick with this family for a while. We have a new baby coming on Halloween, so uh, we'll have to, uh, see this child through life a little bit, I suppose. He's back from work and he earned 95. Look how big she is. They took off her glasses and her shoes. You're going to make her walk outside? Oh, he's freaking out. He looks all funny in his little work suit thing. Um, all right, let's get her to the room and then we can watch intently. Ronald, are you coming? Are you coming? All right, she's going to get in the scary machine. And then this doctor guy, what's his name? Judah Hook. Okay. Uh, he's a doctor. Really? We just learned that? No way. Alright, Ronald, where are you? Don't get a drink! Come here and be present! Oh, okay. This is ridiculous. Oh, he took her heart out. Um, are you watching the birth of your third child? Fourth child? How many kids do they have? <laughs> fourth child. Look at it's like he's playing a game. Yeah, he's totally Oh, those are storks and they're dropping babies. Oh my gosh. So you have to catch one and that's the baby they have? 
Ooh, there's the baby carriage. Okay, it's a boy. Okay, birth, life, the universe, and everything await. It'll be a long road, kid. Sylvia just gave birth to a baby boy. This boy needs a name. What would you like to call him? Okay, so I have a little list here. And, um... Oh, gosh. I don't know what I want. I was really hoping for a girl. I had better names for a girl. Um, I think my top two names are Casper, for obvious reasons. He's a ghost. And, uh, Draco. Kind of, like, short for Dracula, but more Harry Potter. I think I'm gonna go with Draco. Um, Draco Hopkins... All right, since uh, we know that, oh, let's pause and take a look at him. Okay, so we know that um, Alice is a huge Harry Potter fan because of her sweatshirt, and I actually added in a book for her, a Harry Potter book in her room. So we'll just say that she had a little say in naming her baby brother, and he's got a little monkey shirt on. All right, let's take a little picture. Alrighty, baby Draco. It's the Halloween baby. That kind of suits him, I think. Alright, she still has a pregnant belly, though. Okay. Oh, that's so sweet. Who's this guy? You're not the father, Walter. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. One more picture. Oh, no, maybe not. So, no? Okay. Well, they sent him home. All right, Ronald, the work is done. Let's go home. She wants to whisper seductively. My goodness, these two, I tell you. All right, so it's like 3 o'clock. When the kids get home, they're gonna be going to be greeted by a new baby brother, Baby Draco. Um, I kind of would have liked Casper, but I don't know. Um, I think my favorite for girl names were October and Wednesday, kind of like a... Adam's family kind of thing, and then Autumn, of course. But anyways, looks like the kids are doing well in school. I'm gonna pause this for a second. Let's go upstairs and, uh, oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! That is so sweet. She's just like, oh, my baby brother, mine, no one else's. <laughs> oh, Alice is such a loving big sister. Okay get rid of those. All right, so she's going to take care of him. Sylvia's needs are all absolutely perfect. That's strange. And it looks like all of their needs are really well, except kids hungry. He's getting cake. Okay. And then of course, Alice is miserable as always. Um, okay. So let's talk to him. We're going to rock him. Um, make a silly face and cuddle with him. Our baby brother. Look, I love the little elephant charm in there. I wish you could, like, customize that, but... Alright, so she's hanging out with her baby brother. And, uh... What do you want to do now? Um, tell a joke. She wants to meet someone new. You just met someone new. Your brother. Um, I'm gonna have her take care of some of her needs. She should come down here, clean out the spoiled food, and have some cereal. And then she can come and play on her computer. Some Sims, of course. Alright, let's check the family. Like I said before, I just kind of want to... Why are they stuck here? Do I have game options? Uh, gameplay. I have autonomy on. Weird. Um, but as I said before, I want to just kind of breeze through the day so we can get to our spooky party for tomorrow. So this might be a slightly longer episode. But I'm going to have... He needs to fill out reports. So I'm going to have Ronald come up here and work on that. I suppose I should unpause the game. Um, Sylvia is in really good shape. She wants to call someone. Who can we call? Say, hey, we just had the baby. Um, let's call this, uh, this creepy guy right here. Yeah. Chat. He always shows up at our door. Um, I was playing off screen and he kept calling. Sylvia to ask if he could come over and then we said no and he showed up anyways. Is our shower broken? Oh That's frustrating. Um when you're done with that, why don't you repair that and mop? We'll just we'll just take care of that right now. Um I want auto lights, all lights. So just to well actually we have enough money. I can just keep the lights on. Turn on all lights. That way we can uh see what's going on in the house. Who's this girl? Did we meet her before? Um, McKinley. McKinley. Rosales. Okay. We don't know you, McKinley, so you can just stay out there. 
Alice, how's it going? Did you... She must have finished her cereal. Or she hasn't eaten it at all yet. Okay. Skip the food to play Sims. I completely understand and can relate. He wants to play an instrument. Can he play the piano? He can! Okay. Go practice the piano. And he still has to um, play in the jungle gym while playful. I did manage to get Finn to do that while I was off camera. And so he just has to practice typing for 4 hours and achieve level 5 of the motor skill. So what are you doing now? Um, I would like you to do your homework quick. So that we don't have to worry about that. And we can probably get working on this. Authentic birth certificate. Okay. I have to um, pause the game. We're going to put this over here, like, the proud parent. And look at it, it's got the little footprints and everything. Okay. I just, I had to do that real quick. Oh. I don't know why I went into build by mode. Um, where were we? Finn is doing homework. I wanted to check Sylvia's stuff right here. She wants to have a child earn A in high school and help with child. So she should probably come over here and help him with homework. So she can finish that. And then it's just 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 up to Alice to get an A in high school and I think she's almost no she's not <laughs> oh she's a C student I'm so bad at getting her to do her homework just whip out your phone with your bowl of cereal why don't you do your homework real quick when you're done oh it's only Tuesday hmm I may um why did I think it was Thursday already jeez um, when they go to sleep, I'm gonna cut out and then I'll probably come back. I'll just play a couple days off camera and, uh, bring it up to, like, Friday night? No, I don't know. We'll just, we'll have the kids all come home from school right away and then we'll throw the party right away. So, it'll happen. <laughs> Halloween doesn't always fall on a weekend. It's not always that convenient. So, what are you doing, little man over here? Oh, he was playful for a second, wasn't he? How about you? Inspired? Um, he still has to play in a jungle gym, so I'm gonna have him stop playing. And I'm gonna have him watch the comedy channel. Hopefully get him a little playful. How are your reports coming? He just looks so silly with, like, Converse and his little, I don't know, his suit. It just looks really big and oversized, like it's on a teenager, but... Oh well. Why don't you... Baby's okay. Are you almost... You are done. Hug him, fine, and then feed, breastfeed your baby, change his diaper, talk, give him some attention, cuddle him. Okay, can we do more? Age up, show off to, ooh, we'll age him up later, soon. Um, I'd kind of like the twins to be teenagers before he gets aged up, or at least very close to it, but I do have their lifespans on long, and I'm not sure how long the babies stay babies in that instance. But I do know the kids have quite a ways. They have 43 days. That's not going to happen. I'll age them up before that. And Alice has 43 as well. Actually, you know what? Game options. Gameplay. Lifespan. Normal. We'll just... We'll change it right now. So now the... Alice has 11 days before she ages up. And Finn has 11 as well. So the twins and Alice, all the kids have 11 days. I'm not sure how long his will be, but... That is that. What are you doing now? He's like super inspired. Big best friend from playing with oversized. Oh, I had him playing with uh, um, Skelly Bear for a little bit, trying to get him playful, but it didn't didn't work out too well. I would really like him to watch the Comedy Channel. Um, how is your homework coming? He must be done. All right, clean that up, Alice. I would like you to put that in your inventory. All right, yeah, she just completed her homework, so she can come over here and take care of herself. And I'm kind of doing everything in times two speed just because I want to get um, enough time to throw our party, which we could have done today, but I feel like with the new baby, Sylvia just needs a rest. Um, so he's sleeping. Why don't you two... Ooh, he's flirty. Finn, what are you doing in here? Oh, you're energized. Why don't you... He wants to be friendly with his dad. We can do that. Um, hug him. And then I believe, Finn, have you done your homework? Ooh, he could do extra credit. We're not worried about that, though. I want him to practice his typing. So he can come over here and practice typing. Oh, look at, look at, look at, he's playful. So, 
play in trash? Why would anyone want to do that? Um, okay, I'm going to have him travel to the park just real quick. I'm only just going to have him go there, play in the jungle gym, and come right back. And hopefully no one gets off to doing something they shouldn't be. But, come on. Come on. Travel to the park. Here we go. <sighs> Take a sip of my juice. Um, this is literally what I did with um, Finn when he got to this part. I got him playful from watching comedy um, television and then I just brought him to the park. We were here for five minutes and we were done. It was like 1 a.m. <laughs> oh, we have bills. Okay. Come and play real. Oh, why is he sad? For meeting new. Oh, poor kid. I didn't. Why did you just get that? Okay, well, TV, okay, um, what can we do? Complain about problems? There's no one here. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I didn't really mean it at all for, uh, what was his last name? Sisk? Uh, I did not mean for him to be, you know, like, a middle child now. I just meant for the family to stay the way I made them. And then I really didn't think that Sylvia was going to get pregnant right away. But I'm going to send him home since he's not playful anymore. That just, that was a wasted trip. <laughs> Alright, fast forward through that. Go home. He'll uh, chat with his mom. She'll tell him what's up and uh, be like, you're still my favorite son, even though now she has three. <laughs> At least Alice is the favorite daughter still. I mean, she's technically our main character, so she's the favorite daughter. Okay, just taking a sip of my juice again. Okay, so we're just going to take care of some needs real quick. Go pee, and then he can probably finish eating his cookies and go upstairs to bed. Sleep. Why are you doing sit-ups and... Okay, clean this up first of all. And uh, baby's crying. Are you taking care of him? Feed him with a breastfeed and change his diaper and rock him and uh, cuddle. Alice, what are you up to? Okay, so she's just a little hungry, but she's going to go take care of that. Ronald, are you still... Why don't you empty that trash can? Finn, what are you up to? Okay, you're going pee. That's fine. I'll allow it. Why don't you come down here and have some yogurt? Alright, he's just going straight to bed because apparently Alice stole his cookies. Oh, they're all like all icky and bad. Um, Sylvia, why don't you come and load the dishwasher washer when you're done? And uh, Alice went to bed. Finn is still eating. Julian is asleep. Alright, now I'm going to turn auto lights on. They don't need the lights on when they're awake. Except now the baby's just... Okay, he is sleeping. I was going to say, is he just going to lie awake in the dark? Because that's kind of like neglect. But that's all right. He's sleeping in the tent. What a weirdo. That was meant for the kids. But if he wants to sleep out there, that's fine. All right, Finn. You almost ready for bed? I'm just going to make him go to bed. Sleep, please. All right. Um, I think I'm going to cut out here just to save time, and I'm going to skip the morning stuff. I'm just going to get everyone's needs filled, send them to school and such, and I will pick up in the afternoon when everyone gets home. So, uh, yeah, I will see you then. Hello again. Um, oops, I just bumped my mouse, but anyways, we are back, and uh, Alice just got home from school. She literally walked in the door. The door is still open, and uh, yeah, we are ready to start a party. I'm going to have her call immediately. She really needs some fun, and this, I think, is the perfect way to do that. All right, and um, I totally forgot about her lifetime wish, but this is going to be the second party that she throws. And, uh, yeah, Olivia came home with the twins, and, uh, yeah. So we're gonna do spooky party. Um, uh, Alice will be the host. She will invite all of her family, obviously. Um, minus the baby, because we can't invite babies, I guess. Uh, but Olivia's here. Allison, we have to invite. Um, let's invite, this looks like, uh, Allison's little brother, Vincenzo Swanson. We can invite him. It can take a long. Uh, we have to invite Malcolm. Uh, last time I think we invited April and she was really nice. Oh no, we met her at the... I don't know. Um, invite Kira. 
and we might as well invite Cassandra and Bella again and we're just gonna invite a couple kids to exile. Alexander can come and it looks like we know Chester he can come and we might as well invite this guy. I mean he just looks like he needs friends. Ooh, she could be a caterer. Um, no, we're just gonna have Sylvia do it. I don't want to pay to do that when uh, they aren't gonna do anything anyways, but Hobart is our go-to mixologist. He's proven very reliable in the past. All right, Ronald's boss may not think well of him skipping work. Uh, yeah, he can come home. It's basically uh, celebrating his child's birth. Look at her outfit. She's like a little maid. Um, I'm actually gonna have her change though. Uh, change party costume. We wanna be. Um, maybe I can find it. I wanna be the llama thing that we unlocked last time. I'm not sure if it was the mascot or I don't know. Was it llama woman? I want to say it was the mascot. Llama corn mascot. How does that look? Oh my god! <laughs> it's literally like a llama unicorn with wings and the little tail. Okay. Um, she's not gonna be that, but I think that's what we unlocked. What about llama woman? Is that a little? Okay. This we can do. It's no. I don't know. <laughs> Some of the costumes though. This is just ridiculous. Okay, um, change party costume. What do we want to be? We could be the outfit I actually made her. Um, yeah, let's do that. Just change outfit to party wear three. Yeah, let's just be the pirate. Although, llama woman is pretty funny. Um, is this your party wear? Change outfit. Actually, what kind of costumes can the kids be? Okay. So they can be a lot of different things. Um, I kind of want him to be Yoda. How cool would that be? Alright, he's Yoda. Uh, where's your brother? Oh, they had matching costumes. That was cute. Um, change party costume. He is going to be... Should we just all be pirates? That would be kind of fun. Um... We're just going to have him change into, I don't know, decisions. He can be the sausage. There we go. Someone had to be it. <laughs> um, Ronald, can you change your party costume? You can be the mascot. And uh, Sylvia, <laughs> why can't she? Just because she's the caterer? Are you serious? I totally wanted her to be... Oh, okay, whatever. Um, change outfit to she'll she'll just stay in it. This kid is angry. Is this Alexander Goth? No, Vincenzo Swanson. Everyone was the skeleton. Okay, no wonder he's mad. Anyways, I was really hoping to have him and uh, Ronald and Sylvia be the llama things. But, oh well, did he change? Change costume. Oh, be the mascot. Yes. <laughs> be the mascot. Oh, he hadn't done it yet. Okay, so pause this because we have a lot of stuff to do. And, um... Yeah, so we have to carve two pumpkins, ask for party treats, discuss costumes, and eat something. All right. Well, first of all, I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have uh, Sylvia. I forgot her name. I'm gonna have her make some spooky stuff like a zombie cake, and uh, then I'm gonna have Alice. No, I'm gonna have the twins carve pu pumpkins. Oh shoot! Totally forgot that I had uh, Sylvia carve pumpkins. Okay, that's not gonna work. Can I, can I just put them on the ground, please? Please, game. Here we go. We're just gonna line them up out here. Oop, not what I meant to do. Gosh, this party's not going the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's so little compared to that one. Anyways, um, I had her carving some pumpkins during the day, but I guess that counted? Um, no it didn't. Okay, I was just looking in the wrong place. Why don't you carve... Um, a classic pumpkin in green, and you can also carve a classic pumpkin in green. All right. Oh, his is yellow. That's that's pretty cool. I enjoy the llama corn outfit. I think it's pretty cool. Alice, what are we doing? Um, why don't you? Oh, look at she's a fairy. 
Thank her for coming. This thing is gross. I'm just gonna throw it in the garbage. Alright. Um, who's this? Bella Goth. She's a witch. And uh, April is a zombie cheerleader. That's cool. Very cool. Let's discuss our costumes. Oh, there was my timer. This episode is gonna be a little longer, but I already knew that. So, um, discuss our costume. Friendly compliment her costume and then we're going to friendly ask for a party treat same with april we are going to friendly ask for a party treat because we need two and we need to eat something so ooh, random bowl i'm just gonna have you have some leftover spooky cookies oh they didn't work where did they go did they go in her inventory no why does she have cake in her inventory? Gosh. Did I just throw them away? That's annoying. Oh well. Um, why don't you- Oh, the baby, that's right. We have a child to take care of. Um, why don't you change his diaper? Feed him breast milk. Oh, look at she's a fairy too. And they both went with the green theme. Oh my gosh, everyone is in here. Even- Who's this guy? Oh. What is he dressed as? Interesting. Um, she's a witch as well. And it looks like Hobart is not at the bar, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna line up some things for Sylvia to do with Draco and um, make sure he's all good. And it looks like we are doing pretty good with the party treats. We need to perform mischief socials, which is gonna be really easy because I'm on team, team trick. So, mischief. Trick. And uh, over here we have Bella. We're going to first of all thank her for coming. Then we're going to mischief and we're going to trick her. <laughs> it's almost Draco's birthday. He was born yesterday. Whatever. Whatever. Um, it looks like she's trying to play the piano on the computer. But that's fine. Um, did Malcolm ever make it? I don't see him. That's a bum deal. I wanted him to come. Um, that's okay. We can thank Hassan for coming, and then we can go. We can't trick him. Okay, who's this? Is that him? Who's Darth Vader? That is Malcolm. Oh my gosh. So, Darth was actually on my list of boy names, and I almost picked it. <laughs> I just thought it would have been perfect to raise a little Darth Vader, but, uh, yeah. So... Looks like everyone's eating the cake. View carved pumpkins. Sylvia. No, no, we'll have the llama corn come and do it. Come down here and admire this uh, cat pumpkin your wife carved. Light candle. View. I suppose I should light these candles. Might be a little cooler. Everything's lit. Okay. And, uh, very cool. Alright. <laughs> oh, the costume just cracks me up every time. I have to, I have to get a good picture of him like this. Oh. My cat was pawing at my arm, the one that I used to hold the mouse, so that's what happened. Um, and it looks like we have two more here that turned out really well. So did we view it? Are we viewing it? Oh! Yes, hello kitty cat. Alright, I will uh, give her more attention later, but we're still trying to perform mischief interactions. And uh, we are really good at throwing spooky parties apparently. Because we are almost done and we still have like three more hours left. But I think we're going to need another cake if I'm being quite honest. I think eating, uh, having everyone eat cake is one of the things. Or maybe, that's weird. Like there are different things. Like last time we had to dance and all this extra stuff. That I don't think we're doing this time. But Sylvia, if you would please. No dishes to clean. I see dishes right there. Load the dishwasher. Did we scare him? I think he... I don't think he's too mad about it. <laughs> Alright, Alice is like playful and happy. She wants to cloud gaze with Julian. Where's your brother? I suppose I can just... Oh, there he is. He was right in front of me the whole time. Alright, well, I'll just have him go up the stairs. Pause that for a second. I would like you, Alice, to come over here and cloud gaze with your little brother. Alright. Oh, but she's supposed to thank him for coming. Oh, look at We got it already. Alright, so we got this party in the bag. Alright, now where is Allison? I want to see her. B. 
baby is sleeping. Look at him. Look at how innocent he is with the Z's in his face. I'll just tab in. Oh, so peaceful. It looks like he's floating almost. Like, I don't know, just the way that he's moving. Oh, well. All right, where is Allison? Um, where is she? Oh, I forgot we had this back area. <laughs> oh, all right. Why don't we uh, banter with our old friend? And I want you to compliment her costume. And we are going to share a secret. Be like, we are the best at Halloween. Look at how pretty she looks. I like, I kind of like the dark blue with her uh, red, red hair. But anyways. Ooh, that is so disgusting. I didn't know the bar could get that dirty. Ew. Um, I feel like... Okay, hold on. Pause. I know it's halfway through the party. But I feel like we have to change her outfit. Okay, so I want her to be fairy of the meadows so that we can complete the fairy look over here. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a picture with all three of us. That would be fun. And then I think that will end the episode. We'll just, we'll stop doing all this. Apparently you're not going to go cloud gaze with your brother, so please just go do what I ask you to do. All right, she's the pink one too. Go figure. All right, go out here and, um, Go here. Please. Quickly. Quickly now. Okay. Um, can I call over? Uh, thank for coming. And I want to have a deep conversation with her. I don't know. I just want to get them all together in one spot. And hopefully I can get a good angle to get a nice picture. So. No, don't do that. No. Oh, this is not going the way I wanted. Um, I didn't want them sitting. I wanted them all standing. This may work. Okay, hold on. Um, it's not going to be the best, but there we go. We got all the fairies. It's a fairy convention. <laughs> oh, I, w I don't want them sitting. Stand up, please. No, now she's sitting too. Okay, can I... Spooky party complete. We got a gold medal. All right, let's let's check out what we got for our completion. A smashing bass, a festive frights. Guests left gibbering in joy after the evening of mischief and delight. The household has been rewarded a super llama costume that's perfect for the next party, or perhaps just wearing around the house. Okay, so oh shoot, our power got turned off. <laughs> Oh, my bad. Um, those two are both sleeping, so come pay our ridiculous bills, and, uh, I guess that's the end of the party. Um, well, this time we got a super llama costume, so that's really cool. Um, yeah, I I guess this is the end of the episode. It was really long, and I'm sorry about that, but I really wanted the baby born on Halloween, and to just, I don't know. I wanted everything to happen all at once, so... Um, yeah, if you liked this episode and, uh, enjoyed what I named our new little baby brother, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, also, um, just let me know what you think we should do now since Halloween is over. Should we just never let go of the spooky theme or should we continue with fall things? Uh, just let me know if you have any ideas and, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I'm just a rambling now, but um, yeah, thank you for watching. My name is Ternova, and I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. Bye, guys.